Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Coilmaster V3, and I beat the balls off this thing. I'm Sherlock Holmes and on this channel I do build tutorials, reviews like this one, live shows, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to share with you who I think this is good for and my overall opinion. Let's jump right in to this build kit. I'm going to show you everything that comes inside. Here's what's inside the Coilmaster V3 kit. It does come with some organic cotton. And here are our tools. And we're gonna start with the pliers. These are pretty hefty. They do have teeth on them and they have a flat part right there. They're a good size. They feel really sturdy. They do have this rubberized coating and then here is like a textured grippy kind of coating. Next we have the snips or flush cuts. They have a nice little spring to them. The actual blades are pretty thin which makes it easier to get inside and snip leads off. Even though the blades are pretty thin they still are very strong. I haven't had any issues with these. You can see they are sharpened on both the inside and the outside. They have rubberized handles here. Next we have these uh, cotton tweezers. These are like needles. Those things are so sharp. I've stabbed myself a few times with them. They're angled. Great for getting into small places putting your cotton in. People will use these to fan out their cotton. Standard tweezers, they do have a nice gap in between them. I found that some are like this, which is a pain in the ass because then you have to spread it out to get to your coil to pinch it. So these, for the most part, have enough space that I don't have to separate them to pinch my coils. Like any other ceramic tweezers, they, they will break if you put too much tension or pressure on these tips. So just keep that in mind. The fit and finish is nice on them. So they're about as good as you can get for ceramic tweezers. Bottom left, we have a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver with the spinny top. We have a few different sizes here on the end, which makes it handy for inserting coils. They fit really well in your hand. I have heard these would be the first thing in the kit that break. Now, obviously that hasn't been my experience and uh, they've worked well for me. The kit does come with 10 feet of 24 gauge canthal on a little spool here. I could see myself reusing this spool, putting my own wire on here just to keep in the kit in case I need it, you know, make a big long alien stick and wrap it up into this something like that but it is really nice that they included that for you so you really could get started right out of the gate now we have the uh, foldable pair of scissors for cutting your cotton now because of the way these come together i just always feel like i'm going to snip my fingers off with these but you know they do have guards in there here we have a tri-tool and it just has different Allen key head sizes on it. It's really handy. It's easier to get a grip as you're doing this. And in this bottom right hand corner here we have the coil jig set. This is a very handy, handy tool. You see they have uh, 2 millimeter, 2.5, 3.5, 1.5, 4. This one's a 0.3. So you take whatever size you need. So if you're doing a three millimeter inner diameter, you're going to take the three millimeter rod. You unscrew this part, put your rod right in there. This goes back on. And now you have something to hold on to as you spin your coil. Now, if you're doing a simple round wire build or something like that, what you can do, is those holes go all the way through and come out here. So you can put your lead down through there and spin it that way. Same with that slot, you can put your, your lead down through there and wrap your coil. Now these pieces here are actually corresponding with the jig tool. So see that has a three zero, that's three millimeter rod here. This actually fits right on there. So what this will allow you to do, mount your lead on here and you actually just spin this and as you spin it, it will wrap your coil. Now this works great for just simple round wire builds. 
However, it does not work well at all for anything other than round wire builds because if you can see, let me focus in up here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but these things that protrude here, I think you might be able to see right there. They actually have knurling on them and that is actually what will grab and twist your wire around the inner diameter rod. So because that has that little bit of knurling, it it won't it'll damage whatever wrap wire you're having. So anything thicker than just a single round wire, Clapton's even fuse Clapton's, that knurling either damages your outside wrap or just totally messes up your coil. So I don't recommend this tool. Uh, this part of this tool for any kind of uh, exotic or complicated builds, but it is fantastic for beginners who are just doing round wire builds. For more advanced builds, I recommend this piece. It just makes it easier. It's easy to hold, and you can, you know, mount your, your lead into here and wrap it manually by hand, and it works very, very well. There's also a mini Allen head screwdriver. I haven't found a need to use that, so I'm not really even sure why that's there. And last, certainly not least, we have an ohm reader. These are essential for any builder. It enables you to build safely, switch it to the left and it will read your resistance, switch it to the right, and you can actually fire your coil. So you can preheat it, you can get them glowing correctly, get everything set before you end up putting it on your mod. So this is fantastic if you're building for a mechanical mod or just want to check your resistance. A fantastic little tool. It's a necessity. Even advanced builders need one of these. So beginner builders especially, it's, it's a must. It's a must have. Safety first, guys. I have found that the tools are difficult to get in and out of here. Like they get caught, they get stuck. They're just kind of difficult to get in, especially these. They're kind of sharp. They just get stuck a lot. Like if you're just trying to do it on the fly. These are exceptionally sharp here on the tip. So there's no like easy way to get these in. You kind of have to like, because they just get caught on everything or you go in this way and it gets caught up on the lip here. Same with these and go in this way. It's just because of that lip, it just makes it a little difficult to get some of the stuff in and out. What I've been doing for these tools, it just makes it a lot easier for me to just stick them in like that. They stay, they don't go anywhere and it's easily accessible. It's a lot quicker and I don't have to worry about things going anywhere. These over here in the foam are difficult to get out when they're stuck in the way they're supposed to be, which is a good thing because they're not going anywhere. They're, they're in there, they're in there tight. It's just hard to get get some of them out when they're really jammed in there. This one's easy to get at. These are easy to get at. This one's not. When that one's in there, in there, it does not want to come out. So I definitely leave that out. The Ohm Reader is easy to get out, so I don't have any complaints there. It's really cool that they include this cotton, but I don't keep it inside the kit because I have it on my desk. If I were traveling, I would definitely keep this inside the kit. So you just saw everything that came in the kit. When you purchase it, it comes in a box like this. And on the back, it does show you the contents. The kit comes like this wrapped in plastic and it has two zippers so you can go all the way around on it, you know, open it up, close it up, coil master logo here on the front. So it's not overly branded. It looks nice and clean, which I really like. It's a very small kit. It's about eight inches square. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. You know, some people don't have a dedicated build area. So this would be nice and small and easy to move around and, and just stick on a shelf somewhere. Everything's really, really nice quality. Um, I've struggled with flush cuts over my building career. Finding a pair that's gonna last a while, stay sharp and just do the job well. And as I said, I beat the living shit out of these flush cuts. They're snippers or wire cutters or whatever you want to call them. And they are still performing really well for me. So I'm very, very impressed with the quality of these wire cutters. The only thing that these have done is make me bleed. Um, I did use them to fold my cotton into the juice well and stuff like that. And just, it's not the way I do it. So these just 
weren't very useful for me. They're sharp as hell. These made me bleed so many times. If you're into the fluffing your cotton and all that stuff, this is going to be a great tool for you. The ceramic tweezers are something I use constantly. Um, as I said in the close-up, they have a nice gap between the between the teeth and they haven't snapped on me yet and I've used them quite a bit. The two screwdrivers are two screwdrivers. I didn't use the Canthal but I think it's really cool that they include Canthal in the kit. I really like the three-way Allen key tool. It's just really handy and, and has made things easier for me. The scissors are decent. They're not the best but they get the job done. Um, they're fairly sharp. I've seen better scissors. It's really great that they include them though. They're a decent pair of scissors. So the jig kit is, it's great for using just the handle and then spinning your coil by hand. These, these are a major con for me. The, the nubby knurling just doesn't, doesn't work. These don't work on anything besides a round wire build. For somebody who's just starting off and working with round wire, it's going to be a fantastic tool to see how the spinning action works. And from there, with your more advanced builds, you can just do it by hand. I'm absolutely thrilled that this comes with the kit. This is a fantastic device that every builder should have. You know, anything to promote safe building, I'm a big fan of, so I really think it's great that Coil Master provided one of these. Let's talk about the price. I've seen this between $35 and $50. Now I know that there are knockoff Coil Master products on the market. So the one that was $50, I know for a fact was authentic. So we're gonna go with that as the price point. You could piece together a similar kit for less or right around the same price. What's great about this as you get the whole container and everything is in here that you need, you have all of the basics to get you going. This is actually something that when I travel, I will bring this with me and have everything that I need. This is gonna be so much easier to carry than a toolbox full of all my gear. When I started building, I didn't buy one of these. I pieced my kit together here and there. And Unfortunately, like I went through a lot of bad tools before I found the ones that I like. So when you add in that cost, it really cost me a ton of money to put together the, the actual build station that I have. I think Coilmaster did a solid job with this. If you've never built a coil in your life, you can pick this up and have everything that you need. So I think this is great for beginner builders. Coilmaster sent me this to review. Um, would I have bought this if they hadn't? Probably not, but I will say if I lose this I will go buy another one just because I didn't realize How handy this would be if for traveling or you know just throwing it in my car So I have everything that I need I think it's really worth the money that they they want for it So a few cons are just it's really hard to get some of the tools in and out of the case quickly for me I, I build quickly because I do production so that's kind of a subjective con for me. Uh, a con is the, the half of the coil jig that really is useless unless you're doing round wire builds. They're my preference, but I would really like to see a pair of toothless pliers in here. A little con for me, the scissors, they work great now, but they will get dull quickly. You know, once these are dull, that's it. They're gonna be a pain in the ass and you'd be better off cutting your cotton with your wire cutters. You'd have to go out and buy another pair of foldable scissors to replace these. But yeah, I give this I give this, this build kit a thumbs up. I highly recommend it if you're just getting into building. I think it's a great little kit. I will be doing a video in the future where I compare the Coilmaster v3 builders kit against the Sigeli chaos kit so I'm gonna compare these two in a different video and I will also do a, a separate review of the Sigeli kit which is much more expensive I have ultra exotic coils available for purchase on my website as well as other build tools that you can't get in this kit so check those out at sherlockholmes.com. I want to say thank you to Coilmaster for sending me over this kit to try out. And a huge thank you to you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and have that bell notification. It's right next to the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that so you get notified when I go live or post new stuff. I will be giving a build kit away over on my Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, you can help support this channel 
channel and earn some cool prizes while doing so. I'll have some links in the description where you can find the Coilmaster build kit. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Sherlock Holmes and I'll see you in the next video.